the, the Great Highland Bagpipe is the, the bagpipe that most people see, uh, which you can see, you know, the Scottish Army bands playing them, and you can see on on the Edinburgh tattoo. That's the Great Highland Bagpipe, right? So it's very, very loud, right? Very loud, and and a, and a big instrument. Whereas the small pipes are very small, little tiny pipes, and they don't have much volume at all. So you, you could be playing it in, in your, your bedroom and the person in the next room can't hear you. For a bagpipe to, to be a bagpipe, it needs a bag. Otherwise, it is just a pipe. What happens is that the, the, the bag is there to take over from the piper's lungs when the piper takes a breath to get more air. We, we make from scratch. We restore old ones, um, old sets and repair them. Um, we get other, other sets that uh, somebody might want to, to upgrade them and have silver put on them, things like this, you know, so, so that we do a full range of things. We, we, we don't only make the, the Great Highland Bagpipe, which is the famous one, we also make the Scottish small pipes with the bellows, so you don't blow them by mouth. Yes, I, I receive orders from all over the world. You know, I've had orders from South America and, and, and from... Uh, Russia, and I've had them from Czechoslovakia and Hong Kong and China and America and Australia and Africa and all over. The, 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 the small one was invented later. See, with the, with the bagpipes, the bagpipes aren't only Scottish. You have bagpipes everywhere. I mean, you know, you've, you see, you have, have all, all through Europe, you have different types of bagpipes. And, and of course, what was the Soviet Union? They had many different ethnic bagpipes. I think what happened, uh, this, is, this is a theory, is that when they had the Crusade and Holy Wars, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, all the European armies went to fight in the Middle East. Well, in the Middle East, they already had a primitive bagpipe. And I think, and I believe, that people that were out there could see these pipers playing these pipes and when they've gone back to, to the country they came from have tried to copy their uh, bagpipe and of course because different um, countries have different styles of music they have ad adapted their bagpipe for their music uh, one the Scottish bagpipes very very loud I mean you can you can hear it at a big distance Whereas a lot of European bagpipes, they have quiet because as they're playing the bagpipes, they stop blowing the bagpipe and they sing. And then they blow the bagpipe again and then they will stop blowing the bagpipe and they sing. So to do that, you have to have the instrument take, uh, not taking too much air. With the bagpipes, the Scottish bagpipes, because they're so famous, there are pipers and bands in every country in the world.